I've opened my own police school to teach huh? my students all the cop skills I know. I also opened my own police school, <laughs> and I even have students. However, so far they don't want huh? to learn anything. Mikey, shouldn't be such lazy huh? students. Look at mine. They work hard and want to oh. learn. I can still teach my students. They just need to be given time until they start wanting to learn. And my students will be much hmm. better than yours. I want to see how you're going to teach them. Because so far, they're just sleeping. I just haven't started training yet. Huh? So now they're just resting. I believe that my students will be the best. Because they study at the richest police school. Hey, Mikey. Huh? Do you want me to show you how everything works at my school? I think it will be interesting for you to look at the rich police school. Outside, my students are training and learning how to shoot. And inside, there is an ordinary school. But the most interesting thing is that it is also made of diamonds from the inside. Of course, my police school is a little smaller than yours. What? But as it is, I have everything the same as you. I have every student's locker here. They can change if they need oh. it, or they can store their stuff here. Come on, now I'll show you how my police school looks because I think I have it just as good as yours. You definitely don't have what I have at police school. Even if I don't have something at school, I don't need it, because my school is already the best. Mikey, it's very dirty here. Students <laughs> cannot study in such conditions. You've just got mud puddles here. And don't look at the dirt. Here you can shoot weapons and learn how to do it. Even though my police school is poor, I can still make good students and teach them everything I know. I doubt very much that he will be able to teach his students well, because the conditions at his school are just terrible. My students are already well trained, and they need to complete some task. Oh no, my car! Somebody help me! My car was stolen, and I do not know how to catch up. Of course! We will help you. You have just come to the right place, because there is a rich police school here, and we'll find your car. I will also participate in this, huh? because I have a school too, and my students and I will help you get your car back. I have to outrun Mikey and find the culprit much faster than him. The best option to look for a stolen car is not to go after it, and look for her from the air. That's why I'm going to look for the culprit in a helicopter. That way, I can quickly find him and catch him. Mikey will probably catch up with the criminal in a car. But this is not the best option, because that way he won't be able to catch up with him. And it will be much more convenient for me to find and catch him from a high place. Besides, there are weapons on my rich helicopter, which will help me stop the car quickly and catch the criminal. Mikey definitely doesn't have one on his poor car. Mikey is trying to outrun me and catch the culprit first. But in fact, he only gets in my way. If I was the only one doing this task, then everything would be fine and I would finish it quickly. Oops, I think I accidentally broke Mikey's car. Now he's going to be very angry. You shouldn't have stopped me from catching a criminal. I caught him faster myself. He wouldn't have succeeded anyway. Great, my students helped in the capture of this criminal. No wonder I taught them how to do it all. I need to blame them for this and tell them why I chose a helicopter and not a car. It is necessary to catch the criminal and handcuff him so that he cannot escape and then put him in jail. You're under arrest for stealing a car. Now you will be in jail for your crimes. Watch and remember how to arrest a criminal. If he stole a car, then the best option is to catch and find him. It's from Viduka because that's the best way to see the stolen car. It was very interesting to see. Huh? You caught this criminal very quickly. JJ, what did you do to my car? You broke oh. my only car. What am I going to drive and catch criminals on now? Mikey, you've been in my way all this time. I could have caught him myself. Ouch. No one catches criminals with such a poor and weak car. You wouldn't have caught up with him anyway, and he would have left. I caught this criminal myself, <laughs> so he's mine and don't bother me. I'm teaching my students how to catch criminals. I almost forgot to return the car to the villager so that he doesn't worry and tell him that we have caught the criminal and will put him in jail. My students will come back later because it all happened not far from my police school and the car of the villager was not even damaged. She remained intact. Besides, I trusted my students to put this criminal away themselves. I've already taught them that, so they should be able to handle it. This is my car. You found her and took her away from this criminal. Thank you very much. I'm so glad she wasn't even hurt uh -oh. and is completely intact. And where is the criminal who stole my car? Did you catch him or did he escape? We caught him and put him in jail. He wouldn't have been able to escape from us because my students were trained for this. Come on, I'll show you this criminal and you can tell me if it's him or not. 
Uh, I think I can recognize him and tell you whether he is or not, because I remember his face very well. Yes, it's definitely him. You still managed to catch him. Thank you very much. That's why I made this police school, to help people like you and catch all sorts of criminals who break the law. So we caught the first criminal with my students so that we can catch more of them. I need to conduct a training session and teach my students. My police school is prepared for the education of my students. So now I think we'll start the training and it will pass all sorts of tests to improve your police skills. Probably the first task will be related to these lasers. They will need to go through them. They are certainly dangerous, but my students are prepared for this, so they should have no difficulty completing this task. Great. It seems to me that they are very good at this task. This will be very yeah. useful to them in the future if they continue to work as policemen. This way, they will be able to pass all sorts of traps and very dangerous and will not harm themselves at all. Now the most interesting part, because they need to go through parkour. I don't have any difficulties with him because I'm always good at parkour. So my students should learn this too. Come on, you will succeed. This parker is not complicated at all because I built it myself and it is possible to pass yes. it. As you can see, I was not able to pass. Great, the first student has already passed and received his prize. So look at him and take an example from him. He did his job very well. Come on, you have just a little bit left. You just need to jump up. Well, it didn't work out. Try until you can all get on this roof. JJ won't be able to beat me anymore because I decided to teach my students. You're shooting wrong. You need to shoot at targets and imagine that you are shooting at criminals or you will never be able to become good policemen. So watch and repeat after me. That's how you stand up straight and shoot and not somewhere in the side. It is necessary to hit the target. What did I put it here for? You're not doing everything right. Why are the other students sleeping? I didn't let anyone sleep. Hey, you, get up. It's time to learn. You can't sleep. You're in police school. You need to study here. Can you even hear me? How am I supposed to win JJ and his rich school with such students? Although I have an idea. I also have a helicopter. Even though he's not that rich and it doesn't say police on him, but he can fly too. And that's why I want to challenge JJ to a duel. So if I try very hard, then I can win JJ and my school will be the best. Now you just need to fly to him at school and tell him everything. I didn't know that Mikey turns out to have a helicopter. It's so weird. He's very poor too, not like mine. Hey JJ, look, I have a huh? helicopter and I want to challenge you to a helicopter battle. Whoever can do it faster has the coolest school. Okay, I like this idea. I don't have anything else to do yet, so I can compete with you on helicopters. My helicopter is also very fast, uh -oh. so I'll try to beat you. I will do my best for this. It seems to me that you will not succeed again, and you will not be able to win for me, because you don't know how cool my helicopter is, and he's very fast. Okay, if Mikey really wants to have a helicopter battle, then I have something for such an occasion. I plan to do a training session for the students instead, but now it can be used for a battle with Mikey. I will definitely win Mikey because I am completely confident in myself and in my cool, cool helicopter. So I'm completely ready. So it's time to get on the helicopter and take this test. Mikey is ready to lose to me. Well, JJ, you're ready. I am completely confident in myself. I will definitely win. I've been preparing for this battle for a very long time. Look, JJ, I'm already ahead huh? of you, so you're definitely going to lose. I knew I could win. You won't be able to beat me anyway, because I'm not someone who likes to lose. And I will do everything to win. Well, here are the jerseys. Now it's you in last place, and I'm on the first one. Oh! It was very easy to overtake you, because your helicopter is very weak and slow. No, it's not fair. I have to win this battle, because I don't want to lose. My school should be the best. Mikey, you'll never outrun me. My helicopter is very strong and fast, so just admit defeat. Stop shooting at me! I don't have a gun on the helicopter! This is not according to the rules of our battle! We're almost at the finish line, and I definitely beat you, Mikey. So you shouldn't have hoped that you could beat me in this battle. I did everything to beat you, but I still couldn't do it. What am I doing wrong? My helicopter doesn't seem to be that slow. I was flying right behind you. I told you right away that I would win you, so I'm not even surprised that it turned out exactly as I said. I wonder how angry Mikey is that he lost this battle. He wanted to win so badly. I don't understand why JJ won. I've thought of everything. I should have won it, but I didn't succeed at all. 
I am very angry at him, ha, huh, that he won me. Because I lost again and my school is not the coolest. That's why I really want to take revenge on him and blow up his police school. I have missiles that I will aim at JJ's police school. They are in my trunk here and no one knows about them. So that's why it's going to be a surprise for JJ's school. I do not know how strong these missiles are and how big an explosion they will cause, but I really hope that they will destroy JJ's school very well. I really want to take revenge on him. If I blow up his school, then only my school will remain. And then I will definitely win. It remains only to activate them and see how big the explosion will be. <laughs> Where did these missiles come from here? No one but Mikey could point them at me. I won't let them destroy my school. This is Mikey trying to get back at me for winning the helicopter battle. I'll try to shoot them down with a gun, but I'm not sure I can do it because these missiles are very fast and I don't have time to aim at them. But I'll still try to do it so that they don't destroy my police school. Where did Mikey get such missiles from? They're good enough, but he has a poor school and he can't afford such missiles. If I can't shoot them down, they'll blow up my school. Great, I was able to shoot down a couple of missiles. The last one is left and I'm done. Since Mikey decided to take revenge on me, then I'll postulate the same way too. I also have missiles that I can activate on Mikey's school. I want to blow up Mikey's school. He doesn't have a weapon to fight off the missiles that I'll launch at him. So he won't be able to do anything and his police school will explode. Let's see how he reacts to the fact that rockets are flying at his police school and everything will blow up. This lever launches rockets. So now they have to fly to Mikey's school. I want to see this. Oh, <laughs> hmm. ah! what is it? These are not my rockets. These are JJ's rockets. He decided to direct them at me too. What am I supposed to do now? I can't even fight them off in any way. They're going to blow up my school. What should I do? JJ repeated after me. It was my idea to send missiles at him. The last rocket is left. The rest of the rockets didn't destroy my school much, but this one is the last one left, and I hope that it will greatly destroy my school. Oh! Oh no, she got right in the middle of my school. It's all JJ's fault. Why did he destroy my school? His school wasn't affected at all. And now I have nowhere to teach my students. Now I have to rebuild it. If I can do it, of course, it will take a long time. I need to come up with something to protect myself so that JJ can't ruin my school anymore. Precisely, I can make a big golem so that he not only protects my school, but he also attacked JJ's school and destroyed it. I'll have to make a golem out of the ground because I have nothing else. I'm going to make an unusual golem and a very big one. It's going to be so big with the size of the school so he can attack JJ's school and destroy it. Of course, I don't know if I can do it, but I'll try anyway, because I thought this idea was very cool. And if I succeed, then JJ will just be at school when he sees him. Also, this golem will have more than one pumpkin instead of a head, and there are four of them, because the golem itself will be big. However, I do not know how I will get down from here later, because I'm very high. But I hope that if I just jump off, everything will be fine, and I won't break my leg. Great, I'm done. Now I just need to activate it and everything is ready. The rockets should have blown up Mikey's school by now. So I want to see how much they destroyed it. Huh? Mikey decided to make an earth golem. He failed to destroy my school with missiles and he wants to try to solve it with this golem. But you still won't succeed. I'm glad I have a big golem too. Come on, golem. You have to defeat this golem because he wants to break my police school. I'm sure you'll win it because you are much stronger than this poor golem. Hey, JJ, I didn't know you had such a big golem, oh. too. It's not fair. I thought my plan would work and I could destroy your school. No, Mikey, you're not going to make it because I won't let you destroy your school. I have a rich school, which means that the protection for it is not some simple one, but the best. No, stop shooting at him. Let them fight on their own. It's not fair. You're helping your golem and I don't have a weapon and I can't help him defeat your golem. Mikey. Even your golem lost to my golem. That's because it's made of earth, just like your school. You're just lucky, and you fired a gun at my golem. It's not fair. My golem won anyway, and Mikey's next plan failed because he will never be able to destroy my school. While Mikey is gone, and I have some free time, I can fix my school because it's a little ruined, and it doesn't look pretty at all. The students of my rich school should not study in a school that has a hole. Therefore, I need to seal it up so that everything looks beautiful and gourmetic. I don't have diamond blocks, but I have gold ones. So I'll have to plug this hole with gold blocks for now. 
And then, as soon as I have diamond blocks, I will redo everything and put diamond blocks instead of gold blocks because it will be very beautiful. While I was plugging the hole, I came up with something. I have a very powerful weapon that can destroy something very much. So I decided to shoot it at Mikey's school. I won't be able to shoot at his school just like that. So I decided to fly in a helicopter and shoot Mikey's school from it. There will be nothing left of his school from such a weapon because it is very strong. After that, Mikey will definitely admit defeat. And I will definitely win because he won't be able to rebuild his school and he definitely won't work in such a ruined school. Hmm. JJ, you ruined my school. Huh? Okay, you've won. And now I have nowhere to work and teach my students. Let's make peace, JJ. I won't try to beat you anymore because you already won. Okay, Mikey, I agree. I won and I knew it would be like this from the very beginning. And now we're just going to be friends again. It's a pity, of course, for my school, because I built it myself. 